This episode is brought to you by Oracle. AI may be important, but it needs a lot of processing speed, and that gets expensive fast. Upgrade to the next generation of the cloud, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI. OCI is the single platform for your infrastructure, database, application development, and AI needs. Do more and spend less, like Uber, 8x8, and Databricks Mosaic. Take a free test drive at oracle.com slash enhance. Hello and welcome to Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. I'm Becky Parker Geist and I'm your host. Audiobook Connection is your place to learn about the audiobook creative process and for authors to learn valuable tips on producing and marketing your audiobooks. This podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Hi, I'm Becky Parker Geist. I'm the CEO of Pro Audio Voices, the president of the Bay Area Independent Publishers Association, the host of Audiobook Connection podcast. And I want to thank you so much for being with me today, for spending a little bit of time to investigate the question why not ACX for audiobook distribution? So, we're going to go into some of the details about that. There are a few key things you should understand before you make the decision about ACX and whether that's the best approach for you. First of all, let me just say, if you are already, have already published your audiobook through ACX, I don't want to stress you out or say that you did anything wrong. We are always, all of us, making the best choices that we have available to us in any given moment. At the end of this, I'm also going to give you some tips if you have published through ACX what some of your options are, depending on whether you went non-exclusive or exclusive. The first thing you should know about ACX and why I recommend that people not go through that channel or that platform to get your audiobook published is because you're limiting the breadth of your distribution. ACX only includes distribution to Audible and iTunes. The end, period, end of story. Now, you can argue, and people do, that Audible is the biggest seller of audiobooks. And that's true. They do still hold the market share, the greatest market share. But they are by far not the entirety of the audiobook market. And in fact, there are many listeners who are not just listeners, but people who purchase from Amazon or who have purchased from Amazon try to lean away from it because they realize that it's while it's a very convenient platform to purchase through, it is not really ideal in terms of how they treat the content creators, for example. And since we're in the book world, that's what we're going to uh, focus on. So there are many people who are choosing not to use Amazon or Audible for audiobooks. They have lots of other choices. And the fact that your audiobook is not in any of those places can be problematic for you. I personally, as an audiobook listener, have experienced that where I found an audiobook that I really wanted. I was really interested in the content. I went to my the platform that I was on at that time as a subscriber. It wasn't there. It was only on Audible. And I have chosen to not purchase audiobooks through Audible anymore. They lost my business. And I know I'm not alone in that. Okay, you're limiting the breadth of your distribution if you use ACX. And it's really a good idea to be in all the different places that you could be where on the many different platforms, there are over 50 platforms that includes libraries. It includes places like Spotify, audiobooks.com, libro.fm. There are dozens of others. So that is item number one. The second thing that you uh, reason why I steer people away from ACX is that Audible actually pays the lowest royalties for non-exclusive 
And there, it, it's not much better for exclusive, partly because, largely because, their formula for calculating that royalty is not working in your favor as the content creator, as the author. In fact, while they say they're going to pay you 40% for exclusive, they don't say 40% of what. And that's true with other digital distributors as well. They're not really transparent about that. They are counting on you being misled, making an, an assumption about what that percentage is of. So they're relying on you just not even thinking to ask the question, well, okay, 70% of what? 40% of what? And so what you'll find is that it actually works out to closer to about 17% for non-exclusive on Audible, rather than the 25% that they claim for that uh, contract. Now, it's a little better on some of the other platforms, but if you're only on ACX, you're not going to be on any other platforms except for iTunes. And I'm not actually intimately familiar with the details on the iTunes sales, but they're not going to be as high as Audible. And why wouldn't you want to be in all the places where your listeners might be? If you're going to invest in an audiobook, then you want to make sure that you are making it accessible and visible to all as or as much of your potential audience as you can. Let's just take a short pause and we'll come right back with some more. Would you like to earn more from your audiobook sales? If you're an author with an audiobook, you may have noticed that royalties from Audible especially and other platforms as well are frankly kind of pathetically low, disappointingly low and unfairly low considering what it cost you in effort and resources to create it. How is it the retailers are the ones making all the money off your work and investment? As someone who started in the audiobook industry in 1981, I've found it frustrating that authors keep getting shortchanged. The good news is that Pro Audio Voices just launched Amplify Audiobooks, a direct sale audiobook platform for authors that puts you back in the driver's seat. Earn 65% of the gross sales price that you set. Compare that to the percentage of the percentage that retailers give. Run promotions on schedule whenever you want. Create coupon codes. Build community with your customers since you'll know who they are and how to contact them. Work with a caring, responsive, supportive team to help you succeed all along the way. Get help with marketing. Get paid weekly. We're helping audiobook authors who are frustrated by painfully low royalties and the barriers that prevent them from managing their own products and customers. Amplify Audiobooks is a direct sale platform that enables authors to earn much higher royalties and have way more control. We're disrupting the audiobook industry by putting authors first. Get started today at ProAudioVoices.app or go to ProAudioVoices.com and click on the distribution Amplify link. Join the movement. Okay, the third thing is that ACX provides the least control to you. While the other retail platforms are not much better, with ACX, they won't even accept a suggested price that you'd like to sell it for. All the others, or most of the others, you can suggest a price, and many of the platforms, the retail pla retailers, and many of the retailers will use that price. They don't have to. You are not, you don't actually have any control to determine the price. You can't say, well, wait a minute, I gave you this MSRP. Well, an MSRP is a suggested retail price. You don't have that kind of control anywhere, but with ACX, you have even less. Okay, the next thing you need to know is if you actually want to be able to earn the highest royalties and have the most control, there is a platform where you should be, and that's Amplify Audiobooks. 
It's really the only platform that gives you the kind of control that is going to work in your favor, the kind of tools that are available to be able to really help you succeed in your audiobook marketing. Amplify Audiobooks is the place where you'll want to be. Now, I want to come back to what I said in the beginning about if you're already on ACX, don't stress out that what some of the differences are between exclusive and non-exclusive. Well, first of all, know that on ACX, you are locking yourself into, typically, it is a seven-year contract with them. You can sometimes get out of that if you request getting out of the that agreement. They won't always grant that request, but sometimes they will. In terms of exclusive contracts, they're harder to get out of. And if you have a royalty share deal with a narrator, they're even harder to get out of. You have to get agreement with your narrator. Typically, that will involve some kind of payoff. That's only fair. So you should offer that even if they don't ask for it. And unless they have earned a lot already from a lot of sales that you've had. But typically those, again, are really hard to get out of because it's really like a three-party deal with the narrator and you and Audible. So you can ask, but if you have a royalty share deal, then don't count on being able to get out of it. If you have an exclusive deal and you haven't been making very many audiobook sales, then you could ask and they might release you. Likewise, with the non-exclusive, they might release you from that contract. Well, actually, you don't need to be released from the non-exclusive contract in order to be on Amplify Audiobooks. It would only be if you're in an exclusive agreement with any other platform. And maybe it's a particular retailer that somehow you've, through a publisher or something, that you've been locked into something. So you, you'll want to check with the people who are helping you. If you have a publisher, you want to check with them, find out what the deal is. Are you locked into an exclusive agreement or do you have the freedom to post your audiobook, include it on the Amplify Audiobooks platform? Okay, again, wrapping up, number one reason why you don't want to be on ACX, it is limiting your distribution to a very narrow, just two retailers. And it's not going to be on some of the most popular platforms that don't, aside from Audible, such as Spotify, and also the audiobooks.com, Libro.fm. These are all very popular channels, uh, libraries as well are a really good outlet, and you wouldn't want to miss out on those. And then also the royalties issue, they're going to pay you a lot less, and they're going to provide you the very least amount of control that's possible in the audiobook distribution world. I hope that this has been helpful. I would love to hear your feedback, your questions. We are can always be found at proaudiovoices.com. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Thanks for joining us for Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. Please take a moment to subscribe at audiobookconnection.com. The podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Learn more at proaudiovoices.com. Again, thanks for being with us, and please join us next week. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.